guys. So this week I'm going on a just one night camping trip with one of my friends. So it's just the two of us and um, I'm bringing most of the camping gear. So I thought I would do a video about all the things that I bring on a night camping because it's actually a lot of stuff and um, yeah, well, I mean, you could use it for any length of time, but I thought I would kind of do a packing video. So um, this campsite is at the beach, and so I need to bring all my beach stuff as well. And as I said, it's just for one night, so um, it's not all that crazy. So let's take a look. All right, so the first thing that you need, of course, when you go camping is a tent. So I actually got this tent from my parents, and um, it's just a four-person tent, but I always use it for two because it's actually pretty small. It's really simple, as you see in the picture. It's just, you know, um, these two tent poles, they cross over in the middle, and then, you know, just one square room inside. So that is the tent that I take camping with me. Then for my bedding, I have just an old sheet that I don't use on my bed. Um, but I usually take this one camping. Um, I don't like to use my regular bedding when I go outside for obvious reasons. It, I don't want it to get dirty. Um, and for that reason, I also just have a pillow that I always use when I go camping. These were just super cheap at Walmart and I have a few of them that I take on all these kinds of trips with me. And then I have my sleeping bag. This is a sleeping bag that I have had for forever. And it is just this trail adventure equipment, Topeka one, and it's meant to be really small. I don't really love this sleeping bag because it is insanely hard to get it back in the bag after using it, but it's the one that I have, so I'm bringing it. And then, I have back here is a folding chair for when we sit around the fire. So, of course, you have to have somewhere to sit. And then for cooking, I have, um, I just got this at Kmart, actually. And it's, I think, about $15. I got it last year. And it's just a little burner, and you put it on top of one of these little propane tanks. And you can just switch it on. And it's a little wobbly. They're not you know, great. You have to stay by them and, you know, make sure everything's okay. But it makes it really simple just to cook up things that you can't cook directly on the fire. So this has come in, a, in handy a lot of times. So, you know, and then of course I have the propane tank for that, which hopefully has enough in it. But um, we'll see. So that is there for cooking. Then I have two personal bags. This is my beach bag. And this is my just regular um, duffel bag with all my clothes and such in it. So in my beach bag, I just put a beach towel, um, just a little cover-up dress, my swimsuit, and I actually have three kinds of sunscreen. I have this one for my face, this one I absolutely love and I've been uh, using for the last couple years. Um, it doesn't make my my face is really sensitive to sunscreen so this is really nice then I have this just for everything else and I have a tanning oil just in case we go tanning which I can't really do but I have the oil just in case so I think it's good to bring an extra bag just for the beach stuff just so that if we get to a beach or if you know we're leaving the campsite to go swim I can just bring the one bag and I'm not carrying all my stuff around. In my regular duffel bag, I just have my toiletries. I have all my clothes over on this side. And then I have, this is bug spray. Because of course you need bug spray in the woods. Then I have a flashlight, which is also very important when camping. And I have a towel for when I shower there and I always think it's good to bring an extra towel besides just my beach one just so that I have a backup so that is what I have in my personal bags and then of course you need food all right on this camping trip I'm going to be bringing some uh, tin foil so that we can cook things in the fire 
course, um, a lighter to light the fire. I have a plastic bag that I'm going to use as a trash bag um, for anything we have left over. And then for food, so we're going to be on this trip for three meals, dinner, lunch, or dinner, breakfast, and lunch. So for dinner, um, I packed some hot dogs and I have some hot dog buns in here. Goodness, there, some hot dog buns. And then I have corn that we can cook in the fire. And I have some grapes. I have a couple of bananas, which we can eat whenever. So um, that'll probably be dinner. Then for snacks, I just have some marshmallows and some chips. Then for breakfast, I baked several muffins. So we can have some muffins. We'll probably still have some of the fruit as well. And then for lunch, I just brought these bagel thins and cream cheese. And of course, we'll probably have chips left over, you know, fruit all throughout. So that is the food that I'm bringing. And then I also have a few things for cooking, which um, is this frying pan, because I figured I could use that for anything. Then I just have some plates, some cups, a couple of knives, and some tongs, which hopefully will do as far as our cooking needs. So that is what we're bringing as far as food and of course I'm going to put it all in this cooler. So that is about it for as far as gear and food that I bring camping with me. Um, there's a couple more things that I'm, I'm taking on this trip. The first is a car charger, um, you know, to charge up my phone and hopefully it will work in my friend's car. And the second thing is... Um, I have some sleeping mats, or my mother has some sleeping mats, and she's going to give those to me tonight so that I can take those and um, hopefully sleep a little bit more comfortably. So that is all that I'm taking on this camping trip. Of course, if I go a little bit longer, I probably bring more in terms of cooking and just gear, but hopefully this will do for this one night. Um, so anyway, that is all I'm bringing. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.